well, not only is it coming down, it is coming down as we speak to you right now live at 5. You can see that they are right now taking it piece by piece, bringing down all of the damage, flooring, the walls, and all of that. You know, this fire took a long time for the firefighters to put out. It started at 5 in the morning. It was 4 in the afternoon before the raging fire and all of that smoke was actually completely out, and that what was left was a building that was considered to be unsafe, so it had to come down. Bucket full after bucket full, the Bayview Hotel is being dismantled. The work started Saturday because what was still standing after Friday's fire was condemned, considered unsafe. It was my home for a long time. A guy who says everybody knows him as simply yep. Buzz grabbed a couple of bricks from the place he's called home and his workplace for nearly two decades. I can't watch it come down. It brings tears in my eyes. I love that. I love that bar. I feel bad for the people that lost everything. The curious stop by once in a while to chart the progress, recognizing that for so many, it's now a scramble to get back on their feet. I do feel really bad for these people that have been displaced and lost all their stuff in there. The firefight Friday started at five in the morning and continued until four in the afternoon before every hot spot was extinguished. What started in the boiler room before spreading into the walls is being called an accident and not suspicious. Buzz says he's found a new place to stay, but says it'll never really be like it was. One big happy family, 42, 42 units of them. Everybody like everybody. And again, the building continues to come down. The what's left of the Bayview Hotel, I'm told it's going to be several days before they complete this work. Now, the Red Cross was here immediately, of course, with food and drinks and also some financial assistance. And I'm hearing now that the All Volusia Riders Group, a group of motorcyclists who have an office right up here on Orange Avenue, not far from the hotel, they're also taking collections at their headquarters for basically toiletries, clothes, and non-perishable food items to try to help the people who are displaced here. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.